It never feels good if you just have to throw away big plastic single-use filament spools. One way around this has been to use cardboard spools that can then just be recycled. But a little while back I did a video talking about the growing options in filament refills which negates the need for single-use spools at all. Today I'd just like to share with you a little bit of news which, if it works for you, can help make 3D printing just that little bit more environmentally friendly in this area. So, let's take a look. In that aforementioned video, I focused on Filamentive, a company who for years has been using high quality cardboard spools that can just be recycled, and who more recently released a range of filament refills that could then be used with their printable reusable master spools. They'd also been working on a printable adapter which would allow their refills to be used with the Bamboo Labs reusable spools. Now however they've taken it one step further, adapting the design of their own refills to make them directly compatible with the Bamboo Lab reusable spools, allowing them to lock right in place. As they can be used with the stock Bamboo Lab reusable spool, it should go without saying that they work perfectly in things like the Bamboo Lab AMS, but whether you're using the Bamboo Lab spool or their own printable master spool, it can be used with pretty much any FDM printer. <laughs> you're probably shouting right now that Bamboo Lab already does refills, and you're absolutely right. In fact, almost all of the filaments in their rather impressive and sizable range are available as refills. But when it comes to environmental friendliness, Filamentive ticks an extra box, which to many will be worth the extra couple of pounds per reel. Now I use filament from a wide variety of vendors, but I've been using Filamentive for years, and the quality and the reliability of their filament is superb, among the best that I've used. That might surprise some of you when you learn that almost all of their filaments, including their range of refills, is made of over 80% recycled material. So not only do these refills not come with a big single-use spool, instead being compatible either with their own printable reusable master spool or the Bamboo Lab reusable spool, but less than 20% of its content is virgin plastic, which again has a massive impact on the environmental footprint of your 3D printing. Currently, Filamentive have refills available in PLA and PETG in a range of white, black, grey and transparent. However, they've told me that they're going to have 10 or more colours available in their refill lineup by the end of 2024, early 2025. Now I'm aware that this quick video might be coming across a bit like an advert, but as I've mentioned before in similar videos, I can assure you that this is not a sponsored video. I just like to promote ideas, individuals and companies who have real potential to reduce the negative environmental impact of 3D printing. As I mentioned earlier, I use a range of different filament brands, and sometimes you just have to go wherever you can to find the colour or the material properties that you're after. I also get that if you're using a Bamboo Lab AMS, the NFC tags that come on the Bamboo Lab refills can make things a bit easier, and if you're a regular subscriber, you'll have seen that I do use them a lot. But depending on the colour and material you're looking to print with, if you'd like to make your 3D printing hobby or career a bit more eco-friendly, this can be an easy adjustment for you to make. I know this was a little different to my normal videos, but if you liked it, please do hit the thumbs up. I've got plenty more on the way, more in line with my typical content, including tutorials and deep dives into 3D printing and 3D scanning, hardware, software and accessories, and other maker tech. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them when they come out. As always, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. If you're interested in green 3D printing, last year I did a six part series on 3D printing and the environment, where I looked into a range of eco filaments, including truly biodegradable ones. I'll link to one of those episodes over here. Below that, I'll link to one of my other videos where you can learn something new or have some fun. Thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing.